In today's video guys, I'm going to be telling you the fastest way to gather intel in the Cal Perico heist solo approach in GTA 5 Online. Now of course you can do this as well if you want to do it with multiple people, but I'm going to be showing you the way that I do it to do it solo and how to do it extremely quick because some people take a very long time on the intel gathering missions. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do right when you start up the intel mission from your submarine is check the location of where you need to go to go and get inside of the vellum. If you are far away, make sure you fast travel to a location that is closer so then you don't have to travel too far. Pretty much this first part flying to actual Kyle Perico should only take you about five minutes at most. Let's say you guys are at Vespucci Beach and and you have to go all the way to the other side of the map that'll take a lot of travel time so just fast traveling with the submarine will definitely speed things up but pretty much from there you guys just want to make your way over to where the vellum is kill the enemies and fly over to the island a little tip to speed things up when you guys are actually killing the enemies click the left bumper to change your target on your controller so then you guys aren't shooting close to the plane shoot the enemies that are standing close to the range rover there shoot them and then once you kill those enemies turn your helicopter around if you are using the sparrow from your submarine and crash straight into the other enemy and try to chop him up with your blades from that point all the enemies will be dead and you don't even need to shoot your gun when you get out of the helicopter just so you can get straight into the plane and get the hell out of there. I know you guys enjoy playing video games, but it can be very hard to grind on every single game, especially if you don't have a lot of extra time. If you need some help on any of the games that you play, check out Digazani in the description and they will supply you with everything you need in any of those games and get 10% off by using code FROLICS at checkout. Once you guys arrive at the island, the very first thing you want to do is find some bolt cutters. That is very important because obviously you guys don't want to alert the guards when you're actually stealing your primary target. So if you guys do want to find them really easily, just make your way over to the airfield where you obviously spawn. And this is where I always spawn during the finale of the heist because I personally like it the most. And it's super simple to find the bolt cutters here. But if you don't want to actually use the airstrip as your main starting point when you're doing this heist, I'm going to link a map down below in the description that shows every single secondary target, every single point of interest, every grappling hook, every pair of bolt cutters, exactly where it is on the map so then you guys can just go and find them really really quickly but personally i like starting at the airstrip more because it's super simple there's a bike right here as well so you can find the bolt cutters almost instantaneously so yeah you guys just want to go and find the bolt cutters and once you find those you guys are going to want to follow the exact same route that i'm taking to get to the communications tower the fastest now obviously you have three vehicles you could choose from at the airstrip that you could find the hummer like vehicle of the jeep and obviously the motorcycle. The motorcycle is the one you will obviously want to take because you could fit through a smaller gate at one point so you don't actually have to run to the communications tower. You can literally drive all the way there which definitely does save some time. Now at this point where I'm at, you guys just want to go through that gate and make your way over to like this middle portion of the map I guess. There is a very high chance of the guards seeing you right here so you kind of just want to stop and wait until they all get out of your sight of you or whatever and then just drive on the roads, drive up the mountain if you need to and you'll be at the communications tower within less than a minute guaranteed every single time you do this it just makes it so it is extremely fast and you don't have to run or swim or anything like that but pretty much once you get to the communications tower obviously you guys want to find the signal box hack it so then you guys can see the cameras inside the actual mansion the fastest way to actually look through the cameras is going right instead of left. If you go left, you'll just be looking at the outside of the mansion most of the time, but if you go right, you'll be looking at more of the inside, and then you guys won't have to look at all of the other secondary targets that you could find throughout the building, because obviously if you're doing it solo, you won't be able to steal those anyways. But once you get to the office, locate the paintings if there are any paintings in there, because obviously you will want to steal those. Luckily, I did find one painting, which means I only have to find one other secondary target, and then I am done gathering intel. If you don't find any paintings, that is okay. But you guys can see we are now at the vault area and now you can see that we are going to be steal stealing the bearer bond So as soon as you see those you just want to back straight out of the communications tower Now at this point what you guys want to do if you're on top of the tower All you want to do is jump off the side of the tower and kill yourself If you're at the bottom of the tower go find a guard and then just get inside their line of vision No matter what happens you will spawn at the airstrip once again Now once you guys are back at the airstrip there is five different secondary targets that can actually spawn here Now I did not get lucky I only found weed and cash inside of these secondary targets, which is highly unlikely. Most of the time, I usually at least find one stack of cocaine, but I only found weed and cash. 
So I did have to travel a little far to actually find my last secondary target, which obviously is cocaine. That is what you guys want to find. If you find cash or if you find weed and you're going to be doing this high solo, you don't even want to take a second look at it. Don't take a picture or anything like that. And if you guys are going to be exiting in a certain location that is not the airstrip, you guys are going to want to look for all of the secondary targets there. But obviously, if you guys are going to be exiting the heist from the airstrip in the plane again, then you guys are going to want to look for the targets there. But let's say you're going to ex exit at the north dock or the main dock. If you're exiting at the north dock, obviously go there right after you're done the communications tower and try to find whatever secondary targets you can. If you can find cocaine, that is perfect. You find two stacks, you're blessed. Just go and get spotted by another guard and then go ahead and leave the island after that. And then once you're done that, you're pretty much done the entire prep mission and you can really do it in less than 10 minutes. Let's say you guys are going to be going from the north dock and that's where you're going to exit out of the finale. When you leave the communications tower, I would not suggest jumping off or getting spotted by a guard. Just drive there right away so then you don't have to spawn all the way back at the airstrip. The only reason you want to jump off the communication tower gets spotted by a guard once you're done looking through the cameras so you could spawn back at the airstrip and find the targets there I would highly suggest doing that because personally I see that as one of the easiest methods to do because obviously if you're gonna spawn at the airstrip you could pick up your weapon stash there as well just go and steal what you need to at the actual mansion and then make your way back to the airstrip afterwards go and pick up whatever cocaine you can find and then just hop back in the plane and get the hell out of there if you guys want to see the approach I'm talking about where you actually spawn at the airfield and then you also exit at the airfield the link is down below in the description it's the full silent and sneaky version of this heist finale doing it completely solo as well just so then you guys can literally blow through it as fast as possible it's extremely simple to do as well but anyways that's pretty much going to wrap up the video if you follow these exact steps you will be able to complete the intel gathering missions extremely quickly in under 10 minutes which is awesome because obviously you want to do them very very fast Obviously spawning in and exiting the finale from the main dock or the north dock are also great approaches in this heist, but personally, the easiest approach from what I've done so far is going to be the airstrip, just because you could fly in on your Vellum plane, also purchase the weapon stash when you guys are about to start the finale, and you can just go and pick up your weapons inside the hangar, and then just make your way over to the mansion, steal what you need to, and then leave the mansion, go all the way back to the airstrip, hack the signal tower so then you guys could take off again in the plane, and then when you're there, you only need to t kill about two other guards, I believe. You don't really even need to kill them, but it just helps out a little bit, and then just steal the secondary targets, and then boom, you're out of there. I just see that as one of the easiest approaches. You do have to drive all the way across the map, literally from the airstrip at the very top all the way to the bottom then back up to the top but honestly it's not that hard because you can literally go off road the entire time and be near no guards whatsoever so in my opinion it's actually fairly simple to do but anyways guys that is going to wrap up the video thank you guys for watching hopefully you did enjoy it and if you have any other tips for anybody else be sure to comment them down below in the comment section to help out the community anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video